Good morning, everyone. A warm welcome to the New Jersey Private Market Emerging Manager Symposium. We're glad you're with us today. We have a superb audience, and in fact, it's a global audience. I believe we have participants from 12 different countries. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us. Please know that we do appreciate you being part of the program. By the way, a special thanks to those of you in Asia for spending the evening with us. The objective of this event is to bring together investors and other interested parties to discuss an important topic, that of emerging managers, including women-owned and minority-owned firms. So why is this an important topic? Well, let's break it down a little bit. As the title of the symposium implies, today we're focusing on both private markets and emerging managers. According to McKinsey, private market assets under management totaled over $11 trillion as of June 30th, 2022. AUM has grown at an annual rate of nearly 18% since 2017. Sure, there's been a slowdown due to recent market conditions. However, the dry powder totaled more than $3 trillion as of June 30th, 2022. Again, per McKinsey. Now let's talk about emerging managers. Emerging managers manage smaller, newer funds at an earlier stage of their life cycle as compared to their more established and uh, uh, larger peers. Many of today's emerging managers will go on to become highly successful and will manage significantly larger assets in the future. In the process, they will generate attractive risk-adjusted returns for their investors. As institutional investors overseeing pension capital for our beneficiaries, it's our responsibility to be forward-looking. In other words, our role is such that investments that we make today will need to deliver returns for beneficiaries many years in the future. Therefore, it's incumbent upon us to not only focus on and invest with established managers in the current investment universe, but also to source, identify, diligence, and invest with managers who will be leading the investment universe of tomorrow. As smaller investment firms develop and grow into larger asset management organizations, so do the partnerships between early investors such as the Division of Investment and these organizations. Early institutional investors can benefit from several economic advantages, including better terms, lower fees, greater number of co-investments, and a steady growth of capital commitment over time. But in addition to those economic benefits, emerging managers allows investors greater access to women and minority-owned investment firms. Studies after studies have shown that investment performance is positively impacted with greater participation by diverse talent. By the way, keep in mind that diversity comes in many forms. A study titled The Other Diversity Dividend, published in the July-August 2018 Harvard Review, focused on financial performance and the effect of diversity. This particular study zeroed in on the venture capital industry and examined the decisions of thousands of venture capitalists and tens of thousands of investments. The study concluded that diversity significantly improves financial performance on measures such as profitable investments at the individual portfolio level, as well as overall fund returns. Contributing factors for this included VC investors helping to shape strategy, recruitment, and other factors critical to a young company's growth. Creative thinking in these areas made a key difference. And I quote from the study, the diverse collaborators were better equipped to deliver it. I also find it interesting that the study found that venture capital firms that increased their, por their proportion of female partner hires by 10% saw on average a 1.5% spike in overall fund returns each year and had almost 10% more profitable exits. In short, adding smaller emerging managers, including diverse talent, into an investment portfolio adds to the performance of a portfolio. There are plenty of other studies we can cite which point in the same direction. But what I've just highlighted is not, not new information to you. You already knew this. Similarly, New Jersey has recognized this and over the years has been increasing allocations to emerging investment managers that can deliver additional value to the pension fund. So that's great news. But we continue to ask ourselves, what more can the division do to increase allocations to smaller and upcoming managers, including those that are minority owned and women owned? After all, data shows that the pension fund can benefit from this in the long term. The conclusion we arrived at was that a dedicated emerging managers program would be beneficial to supplement what we are already doing today. Hence the launch of the private market emerging managers platform. Now please allow me to spend a few minutes to explain how the program is designed and how we plan to execute on it. As you can see on the slide, the program is focused on 
uh, private markets with private equity, real estate, and private credit highlighted. Each asset class will be a sleeve within the program whereby we will select one or more partners or manager of managers if you will. These investment partners will construct a portfolio of underlying funds and or investments within a respective asset class. We'll work very closely with the selected investment partners who will be responsible for sourcing and diligencing the underlying funds which will go into the portfolio. This would encourage the efficient use of resources, leaving our invest in internal investment teams to oversee fund managers while continuing to focus on larger investments. Okay, I think I've touched on several housekeeping items here. And of course, you're not here to listen to me, but to gain valuable insight from so many wonderful speakers we have today. So let's get started. 